Hello everybody, um, I just wanted to do this quick review on a remote shutter release cable that I just bought. Um, I was recently in the market for one for this uh, Fuji Finepix S9500. I did a bit of looking around trying to find one and Fuji do do one themselves uh, but I think you're talking between 30 and 35 pound for one of those. Um, this is um, made by somebody else. Uh, I got it off Amazon and it cost me less than uh, 13 pound so uh, that's the reason I went for this um, obviously when you're buying stuff that's a bit cheaper you're always a bit dubious as to um, how it's going to perform and how it's going to be um, but I have given it a try and it seems to work okay and uh, when I was uh, doing my initial research on these um, I struggled to find any uh, information or reviews or videos on them so I thought I'd do it on myself in case anybody else is, uh, is looking for a similar thing so that's what I'm doing today. So we'll start with the unit itself. Uh, it's relatively small. Um, it's roughly uh, just under eight centimeters long. Um, it's just less than two and a half centimeters wide. And at its widest, there it's one and a half centimeters, and it tapers down to one centimeter at the bottom. It's got the uh, switch on the top, which I'll come and come to in a minute and it's got roughly just on well it's just under a meter of cable which isn't a massive amount but it's long enough uh, to do what you need to do so uh, you know you can release the shutter on your camera without any camera shake or anything like that I know you can use the timer but uh, this is just something I wanted and uh, it, uh, it does what it, what it says it's got a mini USB connector on the end uh, it comes in a little box like that nothing fancy there's some few instructions on the back and you also get a simple instruction leaflet but I mean it's pretty, pretty self explanatory really um, now depending on what model of camera you've got may depend on what type of connector you have here um, but for my case it's the mini USB and that simply there's a little flap there and it just connects just connects into there like that and that's it so um, what we'll do is we'll get it just rigged up and we'll uh, go through how it works again like I say it's really simple but I'll just give you a quick demo anyway right okay we've got the camera set up on the tripod now I've got the remote control plugged in to the USB you can I don't know how well you can see that um, but it's on the car there's a scale electric car it's out of focus so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold this button down and that just focus the, focuses the camera as you can probably hear there you probably can't see on the screen but it has actually focused now and then you just continue to press and it takes the shot simple as that I know it wasn't a very clear image on the screen but uh, it did, trust me, it did focus and you did hear it take the shot so um, that's it basically like I say you can also um, if you want to set this on a bulb setting on the actual camera what you do is you press the button down push it forward and you heard it take a shot there because I'm not going on the bulb setting that's, they can see the buttons now push down and that, that would keep the the shutter open on your bulb setting and that would remain open until you're ready to um, close it again so you can leave that for long periods of time um, and then you just pull it back and it clicks back out and you're back to where you were so it does focus takes the shot and you can also keep the shutter completely open when on a bulb setting so there you go, that's the, uh, that's the unit, there's not a lot more to say about it really. Um, I got mine from Amazon, um, it was under £13, um, it's made by, well it's actually, the actual make of it is Maxima, that's M-A-X-S-I-M-A, -A, and it's a remote shutter release. Um, I think they do them for several makes of cameras, but uh, in my case it was for the Fuji Finepix. S9500 so um, I hope that was of some use to you 
Um, like I say, there weren't many videos out there doing little reviews on them and uh, when I was looking. But uh, that's why I thought I'd do one for anybody who's interested. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.